yes ma'am these are a pair of outlet forceps okay these are a pair of outlet forceps outlet forceps are used when the fetal head is visible outside the labia and does not recede inside on its own and when the cervix is fully dilated when the internal rotation which is further required is less than 45 degrees here you can see this are these are the parts of the outlet forceps this fenestrated portion is the blade this is the toe of the blade this is the toe of the blade here this is the heel of the blade this part is the shank and this is the handle now identification of the left and right side of the forceps the left side of the forceps has a ratchet on the top on the superior aspect you can see some markings over here when the markings are here and it has a ratchet this is the left sided blade the right sided blade is it fits inside the ratchet and this is the assembled forceps when the forceps is assembled to do cheeze dekhte hain एक तो ये जो कर्वेचर है ये ऊपर की तरफ होता है एक तो फोर्सेप्स में कर्वेचर ऊपर की तरफ होता है असेंबल्ड फोर्सेप्स में और दूसरा ये कि ये जो है राइट ब्लेड लेफ्ट के अंदर इंसर्ट हो जाती है ठीक है नाउ द कर्व्स ऑन द आउटलेट फोर्सेप्स द इनसाइड कर्व एज यू कैन सी ओ हियर इट फिट्स इन द इट फिट्स आउटसाइड द स्कल ऑफ द फीटर्स एक्चुअली इट अकोमोडेट्स द फीटर हेड दिस इज द किफेलिक कर्व here the upward curve which is visible over here the upward curve is known as the pelvic curve and it fits inside the pelvis maternal pelvis okay now how do we hold the forceps so holding the forceps and application of the forceps so after prior catheterization of the patient and prior anesthesia and after ensuring the all the prerequisites we will hold the left sided forceps in our left hand making an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal this is the way we are holding we will lubricate the tip of the forceps with some xylocaine jelly we will do a pervaginal examination to ensure the fetal position and the location of the sagittal sutures the location of the posterior fontanel then we will insert our right hand inside the left side of the maternal pelvis and we will ensure that under the guidance of this right hand we will insert the left side the blade of the instrument inside to make the blade reach up to the cheeks of the fetal head and slowly lower it down like that ask the assistant to hold the blade then take the right blade in your right hand make it to 45 degrees again insert your left hand to act as a guard under guidance of your hand you will insert this blade also and once it reaches its proper position you will lower it down and you will try to lock both the blades this is the way you apply the forceps after application you have to ensure that the sagittal suture is in midline the two blades are equidistant from the sagittal suture the posterior fontanel This is the posterior fontanel. The posterior fontanel is about one centimeter above the. The posterior fontanel is about one centimeter above the shanks. And the distance of the fetal skull from the shanks, this space should not be allowing more than one finger breadth. If the blades are locked easily, then the application is all right. Now we have to provide steady traction along with uterine contractions to deliver the baby. The direction of the traction when it is straight towards yourselves is downwards and when it is straight along with outwards 
straight towards yourselves and in an upward direction it is downwards and forwards so in an outlet forceps the direction remains first downwards and then downwards and forwards so along with the uterine contractions you will deliver the baby in a movement of extension